international airlines to suspend all flights. Travelers should return to Canada via commercial means while it is still possible to do so. Let me be clear. If you're abroad, it's time for you to come home. After considering and discussing our options, we choose to stay and self-isolate in a studio apartment in Bali that we were somewhat familiar with, having stayed there before. Overnight, our businesses in Canada virtually shut down and life in Bali becomes somewhat simple. We transition into a slower pace of life. The self-isolation coupled with very little business activity leads to days where things you wouldn't even pay attention to before become the highlight of the situation now. Honey, honey, come here, you gotta see this. And you become entertained by the simplest of things. And I see your Schwartz is as big as mine. Now let's see how well you handle it. The resident dog had puppies. We volunteered ourselves as therapeutic cuddlers. I'm pretty sure the puppies benefited us as much as we benefited them. As cute as they were, and they were cute, after about eight weeks of looking at the same four walls, Lori and I started to wonder if it might be time to move. Local rental rates had dropped in certain situations because many of the tourists had left the country, leaving numerous vacancies. We found a private villa that was a reasonable price and we decided to move to at least get a new set of four walls to look at every day. And now we've got much more space indoor, outdoor. It's just us, so it's 24 seven privacy. And for a change, it was very peaceful and relaxing. The tranquil environment and additional space allowed us to do things like work out whenever we wanted to. The ability now to get out, stretch our legs, feel the sun rays and get some fresh air was very beneficial. Gave us the space to go for a walk around the pool where we could get a solid 20 or even 30 seconds in. Woo! Babe, I'm pretty sweaty, I'm hitting the showers. To practice additional new life skills. The environment at the villa allowed us pretty quickly to settle into routines and the days started to roll by fairly quickly. We would go many days without leaving the apartment. Only very infrequently, Lori would go to the grocery store to resupply us with essential items. At the beginning, in the streets of Bali, it was very, very quiet, almost deserted. We chose to self-isolate, probably a level above what was necessary, but we felt it was the smartest thing to do under the circumstances. This was mostly a positive experience for us. We found life in Bali to be comfortable, convenient. We found the people to be friendly, very helpful and easy to be around. One of the many positive aspects that happened through our decision to isolate here in Bali was that we were able to now support more than we normally would local vendors directly. Because it was our desire to remain in the place that we were living as much as possible, we sought out ways to have goods and services delivered to our residents. We started receiving deliveries on basically everything, all different kinds of food, Hello. Vietnamese, local, Indonesian, Indian, Italian, Pastries, fresh fruits and veggies, Jamu. gifts for people, haircuts, 
almost everything you could think of, we were able to get delivered to the villa and stay home for extended periods of time. I am Uhtred, son of Uhtred. Unfortunately, Lori wasn't able to find spa services that could come to the villa, and so, you know, obviously that's gonna start showing up after a while. Right, ladies? Similar to many of you, I'm sure, we had our good days. And a few not so good days. Like I mentioned before, this experience for us was overwhelmingly positive, as was Bali in general. We very much enjoyed the people and the experience of living here. We'll probably make a couple of additional videos about Bali as we ended up living here for five months this winter, and we'll likely return. We weren't without adversity altogether. We certainly felt the ripple effects of COVID, as I'm sure almost every one of you did as well. In our case, we had our own businesses essentially shut down. Hopefully this will give you a little peer inside what life was like isolating in a foreign country, specifically Bali, Indonesia for us. My name's Air, this is Plan Free. If you like the video, click the like button, and it helps a lot if you subscribe. It's free and it only takes a second. Stick around for more videos. Also, we spent three months in Australia this winter, so we'll be coming out with some videos from that experience. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye for now.